Hello, I'm Clear Bear, and today we're going to talk about are Mexicans Native Americans? So let's get into it. There's a lot to unpack just with this this very popular question, and it's a very valid question because there's a lot of history and nuance that comes with this question. So let's dive into it. Are Mexicans Native Americans. I would say that not all Mexicans are Native Americans, but the vast majority are in fact Native American people. They are indigenous people to this continent and to the land they stand on. And that the reason being is Mexican is not a race. It's very much confused to be that way. A lot of quote-unquote Mexican people will use it as being a race. Some people will even be like, I am half Mexican, I'm a quarter Mexican, so on and so forth. But the reality is Mexican is in fact not a race. It is a nationality. And a nationality is basically, um, you know, where you're born and what country you belong to. So anyone of any race can be a Mexican. You can be Chinese born in Mexico, have a citizenship, and therefore you would be valid as Mexican. Same thing with any other race. If you're black, white, Middle Eastern, so on and so forth. But that being said, the majority of Mexicans are in fact native people because racially the population there is either mixed race, indigenous, Native American and European ancestry, or they are full-blooded Native. Of course, you have your in-betweeners, gray areas, some who are Afro-Indigenous, mixture of Black and Native, or all three, Black, White, and Native, you know, and then you have, you know, you have your mixes, of course, but Generally speaking, generally speaking, the vast majority of Mexico are in fact indigenous people and they have primarily indigenous ancestry. That is a fact. That is a fact. You can research this, you can Google this, you can see the statistics and data yourself if you're into that. But me as an indigenous person, I know the data is there, I've seen it, I believe it. But you can also just see it by getting and familiarizing yourself with indigenous phenotypes, which are the facial features of indigenous people, you can just see that. Throughout the continent in itself, it's majority indigenous people. So yes, most Mexicans are in fact Native American people. Are they aware that they are Native? No, most do not. Or if they do, there is a lot of self-hatred from the colonization that occurred. Because when the Europeans came over her over here 500 years ago they colonized our people to see themselves as inferior to see that indigenous aspect of themselves their native american identity as inferior why why did they do this because if you see yourself as indigenous you are going to want to con connect with the land of your ancestors your forefathers your grandmothers and your relatives right but why would the Spanish colonizers, European colonizers, want to disconnect us? A lot of you all might be thinking. And the, re the reality and reasoning behind that is because if you connect with your, la with your roots, being indigenous to this continent, that is a direct uh, problem for the coloniz colonization that has occurred. Because... When you know who you are, you realize you have an inheritance to this land. And the reality is that this land was stolen through murder, theft, genocide, rape, psychological warfare. The reason that our people don't even know that they're native or indigenous is because of these things. This terrible colonization that is still going on. The war never stopped. You know, a lot of... Uh, uh, a lot of white people in the comments or 
colonized folks in the comments be telling me and my other affiliates or other native activists to stop living in the past, but this is not something of the past. The genocide is still going on. We are still fighting for our minds and we are still fighting for the understanding and education to be properly taught to our children, to the next generations and to the community. So yes, these are very important to realize and this self-hatred is normalized in the media, in the telenovelas, in our books, in Mexico all around. I, you know, I lived in Mexico. I travel still to this very day. To be Indio, to be indigenous, is seen as being second class. It's seen as being inferior. It's almost as seen like being a hillbilly. And again, these things were planned this way because they do not want liberation and a strong indigenous community because again it is a threat on the industrial reality corporate reality of white supremacy that this nation is founded upon that these this parasitic system is founded upon i know it's a lot to take in i know it's a lot to to grasp but these are not opinions these are historical facts so yes again to recentralize back into what this video is made to be about is that yes, most Mexicans are Native American peoples. But again, this Mexican identity is a colonial identity and it was forged through white supremacy and we need to understand that. And I know a lot of the reasoning of people don't claim too, even if they do care about their native roots, is that they feel insecure and claiming their native identity because they didn't grow up like that. But that's the thing. There is no there is no default setting to be native. There is no default way to for one to be indigenous. It is simply a racial identity that we need to understand. And understand who we are by understanding that we are native. We are native people. We are indigenous to these lands. And I say Native American and indigenous not because they are the most proper terms or correct terms, but they are the most palatable words that the average beginner will understand what I'm talking about. I know that we have our own indigenous words such as Masawali, Ruma, many, many, many other words we actually call ourselves in our own indigenous language. I'm just doing it for the understandability of it. But yes, if you have any questions or have any ideas of videos you'd like to make uh, you'd like me to make in the future, just let me know in the comments. Thank you so much. Oh, take it easy. Stay brown, stay proud.